Between Mont Mio and Mont Noiro, an unspoiled valley is hidden, the Val Cousance. Here you can find the river Cousancin, which formed the valley stretching to a few kilometers in the Lias limestone east of Bormley Dam before flowing into the Doubs. We can determine that it has two sources, the blue and the black source. La Source Bleue is the main river that feeds the Coussonsin, which crosses the length of the Val de Coussons. This source owes its name to the blue color of its water, and it is a well-known place for walkers who flock there on Sundays and public holidays. La Source Bleue de Coussons is a spring that arises in an oval basin about 18 meters at its widest. Its depth is 9 meters and there below is the entrance of a stunning underwater cave. In times of low water the water can become very clear otherwise it has a more milky color. Divers have explored this cave, which reaches a length of 220 meters before coming up against a squeeze that has not been crossed. The tunnel consists of two sumps, and several other side trains were also explored, which all end in impassable squeezes. The gallery, of modest dimensions, is intimate but with character. The cave turns into a sort of meander with a high crack and narrow walls. After 140 meters of shallow progression, with an average depth of 12 meters, and passing a restriction, this part of the cave ends in a dry gallery, a kind of intersection of several fractures. After the dry passage, called Salle des Goths, Sump 2 begins, 80 meters long, about 12 meters deep, ending up in an impenetrable squeeze. Halfway into Sump 2, there is an air bell, Ligate Shuffler's Return, which can be ascended to where it levels into a long, dry series of dry passages. La Source Noire, the black source, is located on the other side of the valley, at about the same height as the Source Bleu. Here, where the river Coussinson rises, is a small cave with an upper gallery which is walled by a dry stone wall. From the lower gallery, the water comes out of the underground river. The entrance is too narrow to be dived. This part of the cave is actually the overflow. Between the two sources, on the top of a rocky outcrop, there is a small chapel. On this rock, Knight Coussons, during the 11th century, built a castle. It was dismantled in 1842 by the order of Louis XI. There remains a part of the wall of the tower lost in the vegetation. The chapel at the top was built in 1820 by Father Dallet, pastor of Coussons. It is dedicated to Saint Hermanfoy, companion of Saint Columban, an Irish monk who settled in 1587 near Luxeuil. Leaving the village of Coussons and heading east close to Valavon, a massive crater hidden in a dry valley accommodates another beauty, Creux des Alloz. This structure is a lime hole, which is caused by underground cast. The water seeps through cracks and fissures in the surrounding limestone. In the depth, the water collects and converges into underground river systems until it collides with an impermeable material and is exposed at a source. During the rainy seasons, the underground river can no longer carry away enough water and inevitably it accumulates so that this hole is filled completely. Eventually, it runs away and meets the Coussinsong River further on. This cavity functions as a surge tank on the course of the underground stream between the puy Fenos sector and the Source Bleue de Coussons. La Source Bleue de Coussons is a short and narrow cave. The structure changes its shape continuously, which makes diving very interesting. Due to a lot of percolation and silt, the return can be in slightly poor visibility. 
In this cave, fossilized shells imprinted in rocks have been found, meaning that millions of years ago this valley was flooded by the sea. The Val Cousson and its surroundings offer exceptional sights with pretty rivers and sources, a place full of history and still unspoiled.